I want to make an edit undo button. To do that, I'm just going to go into my text editor and I'm looking for some arrows that look like undo arrows. That looks okay, so I'm going to double click on that. Something like this. Let's just make sure I have something similar. Copy those two characters. In the main storyboard, I want to make a button right here for my undo. I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to get button and I'm just going to drag it onto the stage. I'm going to paste. I'm going to make the first one my undo. I'm just going to copy and paste that so I have two identical buttons. First one will be my undo and the second one will be my redo. Like that. Let's drag them down here. My undo and my redo button. If you're looking at a clock, it's like you're turning back the clock. So you're going counterclockwise and clockwise. You can think of it that way. I want to connect these into my paint view controller. My paint view back to the main storyboard. On the main storyboard, in our assistant editor, if I go to here to automatic, we can see the view controller. We should be able to get view controller and the paint view. I'm going to go to manual then. I'm going to go to our paint view. That ought to do it. In the paint view, I'm just going to control drag from my undo button into here. I'm going to call it my undo and connect for the other one. Control drag. This will be my redo and connect. In the paint view, I'm going to build something. It's going to be an array of UI images. A variable. I'm going to, I'm going to call it image array square brackets UI image. So I can just copy UI image from here. It's an array of UI images. It's equal to an empty array. Anytime we get a new image, we're just going to add this image to our array of images. Down here in touches ended, once we end our touch and we've made our drawing image, we're going to save that drawing image to our image array. And an image array, think of it as like a, a big box with a whole bunch of variables in it. So if I think of variable as like a box, I think of an array as a box of boxes. Or you can think of it like it is an egg cart. You have a whole bunch of little spaces where you can contain lots of things. Instead of containing one variable, you can contain many variables. In the touches ended, I'm going to add my image, my, this draw image, to our image array. Image array dot append our draw image. Then when we undo something, what we'll do is we'll just go backwards in the array to look for the proper image. We're going to need to make a variable that keeps track of what image we're at. I'm going to call this at image. That's going to be a variable that we're going to need to get to in a lot of different functions. So I'm going to make it a variable within the paint view var at image. I'm going to call it at image and we're going to make it equal to zero to start. By making it equal to zero, program knows that it's an integer value. Let's make the at image go up by one. At image is equal to itself. I'm going to put a space there. Plus one. It's equal to its old value plus one. We're going to say if our at image is less than how many things we have in our image array. If it's less than our image array dot count. Okay, that counts how many elements or how many images are held in our image array. If it's less than dot count minus one. If you have an image array, let's say it can hold four items. It can hold item zero, one, two, three. Our at image has got to be at its highest value is three. But the image array counts because it can hold four items, it would be four. To get it down to three, we're going to subtract one. If our at image is greater than our image count, we are going to remove everything in our at image. What happens if you let your drawing the number one, two, three, and then you undo down to one? You draw one, and then you draw two, then you draw three, and then you undo, and it's just showing you the one. At that point, you need to get rid of the two and three. Once you start to write something else, you should be writing it over the old two and three. That's what this is going to take care of. If our at image is less than the length of our array, remove everything in the, the array from at image on. To do that, I'm going to use image array dot remove subrange. We're going to start at the at image and then we're going to go to the end. The range is going to be from our at image dot dot till we get to the end of the array which is our image array dot count. We make our at image go up by one because we've just finished drawing something and we've added it to our array. Now let's go and look at the undo and the redo. What we need to do is when we undo something, we need to go back in our array. All we're doing is we're taking our at image and we're going back one. At image is equal to at image minus one. We're going to say that our drawing image is going to be equal to our image array at our at image. The only thing we need to do at this point is just make sure that we haven't gone too far back. The lowest value your at image can be is zero. If we're at zero and we undo again, 
we're going to tell it to go to at image negative one, which is impossible, and we'll crash the program. We're going to put a little if here. If our at image is less than zero, which we can't have, let's make our at image equal to zero. So it can't get less than zero. At image is equal to zero, like that. Then we need to tell the program to redraw itself. To do that, we're going to use the set needs display. And then we're going to do something very similar for redo. We're just going to move the at image to plus one. If we redo, we just set our marker to at image is at image plus one. Then we have to check if we've gone too far. Here we have to check if we went too low. Here we have to check if we've gone too high. If at image is greater than our image array count, image array count minus one. If it's greater than that, then we're going to say that our at image is going to be equal to. So it can't get any higher than that. And then we do the same thing. Our draw image is equal to that point in our image array. And then we redraw the image. And that's it. Let me go to my iPhone success. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five, and then if I press the undo button, the five went, the four went, and the three went, and the two went, and if I keep clicking, yeah, the one doesn't go. We need to do something extra to get rid of that one, but if I press the redo button, here comes the two, and the three, and the four, and the five, and if I keep pressing it, it could be, the program doesn't crash, good. Now if I go back to three, and let's say I draw something else like A, B, C, A, B, C, and I press undo, okay, so it undoes the C, the B, the A, and then the three, and then the two, and the one. So it totally works. And that is it for the drawing program. Have a good day.